r slash ask reddit what's something you googled completely innocently that you realized sounded super suspicious i googled how to make meth ingredients in meth what is a teeth what makes meth blue how much does meth cost i was watching breaking bad and needed answers well if the other searches got you put on a list, the blue one probably got you taken off, since as far as I know the blue color was completely fictional and invented by the show to make Walter's product more visually striking. Though I remember hearing real meth dealers started using blue food coloring after the show, so go figure. If meth dealers started using blue food coloring, maybe I am back on the list. Every time I hear that I think well not it be potentially unsafe to smoke or snort food coloring then I remember it's ducking meth. My body is a temple, I only smoke organic, additive free meth. So how did your first batch turn out? Nice try, FBI. Not today, CIA. Nice attempt at obscurity Department of Homeland Security. Can't get me, KGB. How to kill a child, I meant how to terminate a child process in C. Google had my back though, programming stuff was the first result. How to remove unresponsive slaves. Google receive search term. Hey yo, oh, we gotta live one. Google looks at history. Oh, sigh. Here you go, then. It's a murderer. Looks at search history. Shudders. It's a nerd. It's a murderer. We finally got one. Oh wait, it's just another murderer. Luckily there are more programmers using the search than murderers. Make sure you kill children before the parents because you don't want any orphans. I was putting together a flyer or something. There was a picture, or a meme, of a rather large man giving a thumbs up. I wanted to use that picture, so I did a google image search thinking I would find it. I googled thumbs up fat man and I've never been the same. Edit. Not that it needs to be said, but it involved many thumbs. Up many fat men. Remember, you always have to talk to Google like it's a baby with an extensive knowledge of porn. I love that sentence edit, I just realized. I was researching Magic the Gathering cards and was interested in the rat people named Nazumi. Apparently Nazumi is a prevalent rule 34 artist, and googling Nazumi rat took me somewhere that no living soul should tread. I have no idea what the hell that is and I'm too scared to google it. Rule 34 of the internet, if it exists, or can be conceived, there is porn of it, somewhere. Rule 35, if it doesn't currently exist, it is in the works right now. I was helping to host my friend's wedding shower at my mom's house, and my mom told me the shower would be mother slash daughter, I didn't know what that meant, so I googled mother daughter shower on my work computer, yet, yeah, all the results were porn. I had to write my boss an incident report. Thank technology that modern phones allow us to not utilize company interwebs for arbitrary searches. My bosses would be having a field day with how much reddit I use. Did you ever find out? I'm curious. What's a mother daughter shower? It's just a wedding shower where mother and daughter pairs are invited. A lot of family friends were included so there were lots of women that the bride's mother was friends with and the bride grew up with their daughters for years. It made sense in context, but I was afraid I would have to buy a gift for the mother of the bride, or you wouldn't be allowed in without a mom or daughter or something. Incident report? Hello, Mr. Boss. I'm writing to tell you that I accidentally googled porn on the work computer while trying to research what a mother-daughter bridal showers. Please don't think I'm into kinky shit. I mean, I am. But please don't think it. Your employee, Nami Harrison. Hello, Nami Harrison. Why are you googling bridal showers at work? Your boss, Mr. Boss. Hello, Mr. Boss. As I said, please don't think it. Your employee, Nami Harrison. Last year when that soccer team from Thailand was stuck in the cave I was pretty enthralled with the story. The situation was constantly evolving so I would check in on it pretty frequently for any updates. One night after getting home from the bar, and possibly slurring a word or two, I asked Siri to do a search for Asian boys soccer team. She said okay, here's what I found for Asian boys sucking teams. She was promptly reprimanded. Siri is the worst. I can't remember exactly what I was searching for, but it definitely wasn't as coke like Siri thought. Bleach to cure son's autism. I saw an article about it and googled it, but I have a son, 
who isn't autistic but I could see how that Google search could seem shady. But I have a son, who isn't autistic, anymore. Doctors hate him. Find out this man's one trick to cure autism instantly. Thanks Clorox. Did he retain his vibrant color? Asking for a friend. How to sell drugs online fast. It's a German Netflix show. And a way to make money from the comfort of your own home. Well even if you wanted to you just made the first mistake. Looking up how much blood comes out when someone gets their throat slit for a writing. I feel like you could look up a lot of things and just say it's for something I'm writing as a great cover. If I ever look up something to actually like, murder someone or something, I'm definitely gonna pull that. Sometimes when researching stuff for writing I'll add another search going I'm writing a book please don't worry in the hopes that if I ever end up on a watch list they'll see it and understand xd. I'm pretty sure Google wasn't around yet, at least well known, when this happened, but when I was in the 7th grade, we were putting in a url of our first names and .com at the end. That's how I learned I shared the same name as a very popular adult film star at the time, so that was neat. And my school didn't seem to have the good sense to block any websites, maybe that also wasn't a thing yet either, I dunno. I'm talking 1997 here, so suddenly I had a monitor covered in boobs and vajay. That was not my favorite day in school. I had a similar experience in 7th grade when I wanted to look up stuff about the government on a library computer. Turns out whitehouse.com is very different from whitehouse.governor. I think this was around 1995, and a big picture of weird lamputy porn filled the screen and was clearly visible from the librarian's desk. Fun fact, I remember reading an article about the guy that made the site, and before he sold it in the early 2000s he was making 1 million dollars a year just from ad traffic it brought in. I too went there on a library computer in middle school. There was a famous rock musician that was caught with child porn and claimed he was just doing research. I couldn't remember his name, so I did a quick google search. Child porn just research rock star. But did you find out his name? Asking for a friend. Pete Townsend? It was indeed Pete Townsend of The Who. I wanted to find out what year Lolita with Jeremy Irons was released. Top link on google was all warning. Child pornography is illegal. Way to make me feel gross. How many pints of blood can you lose before you die? Depends on how forgiving the blood bank is. IDK if this counts but I wanted to look up hamster furniture because I remember seeing hamster sized couches at PetSmart. I don't remember what I googled exactly but I got casting couch vids from hamster. Sometimes you choose porn. Sometimes porn chooses you. I hate when it chooses me when I'm just doing research for a project. I guess that's what happens when you look up big titty goth gf. How to kill parent without killing child. Really hope the FBI knows this was a coding question. C. Just don't ever free the child. Java. Kill them all. There's 15 creepers outside and it's night what do I do minecraft. Do you have your bow? Stack up a bit. All things I've googled in a single year. International relations security policy and behavioral psychology double major with multicultural causes of suicide as a thesis topic taking a senior class on terrorism. Yep, yeah, I'm on a watch list somewhere for sure. Syrian pilot burned alive. ISIS video. Execution methods in radical extremism. ISIS propaganda. Dabik. How to make a pipe bomb. Suicide statistics across the world. Lone wolf terrorism. Man that must have been a tough year. I want to kill the president of the United States of America. Who would be able to remember that the video is titled it's illegal to say. I was buying my girlfriend a bikini and google girls bikinis. If you're ever in the same situation I cannot emphasize enough the term you are looking for is women's. Women's bikinis. Not girls. No matter how old I get I still think of women my own age as girls. I would agree. Google and, I fear, a jury, wouldn't. Wouldn't you just search for bikinis? Obviously, Ark's girlfriend didn't want a men's bikini. I once thought, very new to internet at the time, also about 10 years old, that there was porn made specifically for children. So I searched up child porn on Google. Everything kept saying it was illegal and I am thinking well you're cuz you gotta be 18 to buy porn so then I, in my brilliance, 
Google legal child porn. I am just glad I was 10 at the time and a ducking idiot. Edit. Thanks for the gold. It will go towards repairing the childhood trauma. Yeah, I remember googling nude 13 year old when I was 13 and discovering porn. Hey, this porn thing is pretty cool. I wonder if there's any of people my own age. Parents have been arrested for this. How do people even get caught with child porn for real? Just search legal child porn smh. You're playing 4 dimensional chess. Calling the FBI now. Have to get you off the streets. It's okay it's legal child porn. So, I bake. And if you want to make good pretzels or bagels you really need to use lye. Also, while I was a paramedic I found out how useful disposable gloves can be particularly if you are going to be working with substances like lye. So I bought a large number. 1000 I think of gloves around the same time I bought some lye. Around this time my wife, who is getting a PhD in psychology and law was researching penalties for various crimes. So she was googling things like, punishment for arson and punishments for various levels of manslaughter slash murder. We're totally on a list now. Sorry, what's lie? Isn't that used for cleaning like dishes and stuff? And dissolving bodies, I believe. Black boot is I was looking for a cute style of boots which comes up to your ankle and has a high heel. You want ankle boots. I remember when I was in 5th grade I was playing Clash of Clans with this older kid, had to be around 18, who took a liking to me but could tell how young and innocent I was. He told me to look up super sexy cream pie for a recipe on how to make a cream pie that was amazing. I clicked on the first result and realized quickly it wasn't a cooking tutorial. What a ducking weirdo. Almost googled Alexis Texas in class during middle school. I had no idea who she was and a friend told me to look her up, completely out of the blue. I guess he felt bad because he stopped me a split second before I hit enter. Is human red meat? I wanted to know if we even categorize our own meat in the first place, and I know that my meat is red in color. How to die painlessly? Google never gives me the answer, just helplines. I honestly want to know how to do it so when I need to die, I can do that. I don't want to be kept a human potato when I'm super duper old. Edit. Guys please stop sending me ways to kill myself and asking about the meat. Just read the other comments, the answers are there. Big daddy wipe my own ass I was trying to find a gif of the little kid saying that from the movie. Had a stint where I loved looking at Google Earth and love military planes. So I googled F-22 squadron based in the US, found all of them, and then google earthed them. It was so cool seeing the planes on the tarmac. Oil stains where planes typically wear but they weren't there when the image was taken, etc. Wanting to see how planes moved around, I bookmarked each of the bases and saved the coordinates, with the intention of checking in every few months as the google earth imagery updated. It wasn't until a few hours later I realized that I just searched for the majority of US air power, found their location on Google Earth, and bookmarked the coordinates. If that didn't get me on a watch list, I don't know what will lol. I was trying to find the game SCP, containment breach to download it but I couldn't remember the name. So I typed CP free download as it was the closest thing I could remember. I only realized it a few minutes later, but I'm sure I must be on a watch list by now. Edit, or to correct error. Club Penguin free download? Let's hope the FBI thinks so too. Uranium enrichment process. Is for, science project. Yes, science project. Very good science comrades. Volume of female human head was trying to prove that a cyborg named Alpha was less than 7% woman since its only human component was its head. In that same session I also looked up density of human brain and weight of female head but for some reason those seem more abstract and normal than asking for the water displacement of a woman's head. Can blowing air into vagina kill people? My girlfriend better watch her ass. It can? Yep, it can lead to shock and other stuff. Yikes, today I learned. It's pretty rare, plus the amount of air required is high, relatively. It's similar to how injecting air into the bloodstream can induce a heart attack. This thread has been oddly educational. Not googled, but will soon. A friend recommended a moving company called something like 2 college studs, and I need to get a quote soon. 
not really suspicious but I googled grinder trying to tell someone about CRISPR on a work computer once. That was awkward. Every writer in existence has entered the chat. How long does it take for a body to fully decay while exposed to the elements? Please don't flag me. I'm a writer. Is it easier to kill an orphan than it is to kill a random child of the same age? I can answer that for you. No it is not. Perhaps you meant is it easier to get away with killing an orphan? Can't answer that one. How do you make a nuclear bomb? I was getting a bit too carried away while researching for a science project. Use a South American VPN and start a war. How easy is to break someone's neck like in the movies I googled it like 10 minutes ago. Whoa. Oh, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cast you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.